You know, this rose bush is, it's really going. The weeds need to be cleaned out. I can't do it. But it's had several blooms on it. These roses, they don't have much smell. But I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. I can see eight places where there's been flowers on them. No, actually ten places. There's two more down there. And it ain't finished. This thing pretty much stays going all year long. It stops a little bit when it gets colder, but we don't get that much cold weather here. Boy, I wish I could get in here and clean this out. But I can't do it. Wish I had a lawnmower. Yes, I'm going for a ride. You know, these ladies got a ramp put up here. I, that looks like the kind of ramp the veterans be able to put up. I wonder what that costs. I sure like to have a ramp like that. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. I like that. I like that. That this is two ladies that's they're lesbians. Well, I don't know if she calls her husband a lesbian or not. It's a she. But she says she introduced her as her husband to me one time. When she entered <laughs> when she introduced her husband, lady, <laughs> I said, really? And she said, yeah, I don't want no man. <laughs> That's what she said. But I want to go back down here and take a look at that little Cushman scooter thing. I think she's serving refreshments or something out of that thing somehow or another. I'm not sure. But it's not very big. But I hope it's still here. I hope it's still here. It's down here at this next place. No, it's not there. Yeah, it is. It's sitting over beside the house. Can y'all see it over there? I was hoping to get a better view of that. But, it is what it is. I've been watching some of the stuff about the debate. The uh, people that saying Camilla Harris won the debate It's like ABC, NBC, and CBS. 
but the other places that's that's on the uh, Republican side, they're saying Trump won it. But uh, Camilla is demanding that they have another debate. And Trump hasn't said one way or the other whether he'll do it or not. But the thing about the debate on the Camilla side, she never, she never answered any questions. She would, she would, she just didn't answer the question. She talked a lot, but she didn't answer the question. Uh, and I'm not saying that just because she's a Republican. I'm saying she didn't answer the questions. Trump did. But I don't know. I don't know. How you doing, sir? Hey, can I ask you a question? I said, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. I'm going to say two things. You tell me which one, Trump or Harris? Trump or Harris? I, I, I ain't really a fan of neither one of them, but Trump been doing pretty decent. So I'm going to have to go with Trump. Yeah, I'm just curious. I tried to try to see what's going on. I, I have to go with Trump. All right, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Now, when I review this video, I'll be able to hear what he was saying. I don't know what he said. But I find out, let me go down through here. Let me go down through here. get back over here and I'm going to take another cutting off of this thing and it's going to be it's going to be this one right here and I'm going to cut it right down about there Actually, I'd like to have a couple more cuttings off of that. Now, that looks like a, that's a Ford. That was a Chevrolet. And that tag goes dead in 1124. 
And this tag goes dead in February 25. I would like to talk to that old man. I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He's got fifteen vehicles sitting here, and I guess they're all need work. I guess it's something. It's probably some he's repoed that was trashed or something. Now, here he's got more in here. I said he's got 15, but now I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that I can see. He's got a big yard back there. So he's probably got about at least 30 vehicles. And he can get, if you take him to the scrapyard, you get about $200 a piece for him. Yep. I wonder why he quit r running. This car lot's been here for 40 years. When we first moved to this county in 19... I don't know if it was 1979 or 1980. This car lot was here. And the road was not as high up as it is now. You can see how this is a slant down here. And it was, it was just a two lane road. Yeah, this was just a two-lane road, and it was called Old Jacksonville Road. It might still be called that. Might still be called that. But they raised the elevation. But see how this driveway slants down? Back then, that road was the same level as that that lot is out there. And I guess it raised it because the road kept flooding. I don't know. I don't know. I will, you know, I've tried to figure out how many days old I was. I figured out from night, March 1941 to right now, and it's about 32,000 days approximately. 32,000 days. I would have thought it was more than that until I figured it out. 
had to get on the calculator. 32,000 days. I sure wish my wife was still here with me. I sure wish. When these people first put these bushes out, they was only about that high. And these are easy to root. I can start these bushes. I can start these bushes. Not much traffic out here. What's today is Thursday. I've got a private chat live stream with Crazy Family Tube tonight at 8 o'clock. Persimmons. Where's Persimmons? They're probably selling them. I like ripe persimmons. Yes, I do. I like bright persimmon. Boy, them things when they're green, don't bite into them. <laughs> it turns your stuff wrong, mouth wrong side out, feels like. How you doing, dear? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? No? Okay. No. Not friendly at all. What about that? I wonder if that vine going up there like it, is that a, is that real? That's not our fish, that is real. It's pretty, let me go look at it. Is it intrusive me to drive up people's yard and Look at their plants and stuff. This, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Now I'd like to have a vine growing like that at the house. We got a vine, but it's, she put it in the wrong place. I see bumblebee working that. Not that's a wasp. Does wasp eat nectar? I guess they do. But that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, that lady wasn't friendly at all. She wasn't friendly at all. I, I guess I meet more unfriendly people than I do friendly people. Oh. Uh, I wonder why that is. Nobody wants to talk anymore. Hello. What kind of dog is that? A toy poodle. A what? Toy poodle. Oh, okay. It's a beautiful little pup. Is it a boy or a girl? Yeah. <laughs> well, I got one dog. My daughter's got 12 cats. Oh, my. All in the house. Oh, my goodness. 
goodness. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Trump or Harris? You can say it's none of my business, but I'm just curious. Okay. Trump. Trump? Yeah. That's me too. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. No problem. Hey, dear. How you doing, sir? Can I ask you a question? What's up? Trump or Harris? Trump. Trump? I can't find nobody for Harris. So I don't know. I don't, is that a sign of things? I, I'm a Trump fan myself. Um, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't want no woman to be in charge. Kamala, I, I, I don't know how she's got where she's at anyway. Mm -hmm. I vote for Trump any day. But, I watched the debate, and uh, they asked her questions, but she wouldn't answer the question. But she talked about a lot of other stuff. Yeah. I won't vote for it. Yeah. I don't guess I'll get. I, I guess I could still vote. It'd be hard for me to get over there, though. Yes, sir. All right, thank you, thank you, sir. No problem, sir. She'll be right back. She took the dog out of his room. They closed? Okay. Everybody I asked is Trump. Everybody I asked is Trump. I couldn't talk to him, he's behind the glass, but he waved to me. He waved to me. Well, I wish I had a couple of dollars I'd go to Family Dollar and get me some Mounds candy bars. I love Mounds. You know, Back in the day when I was when I was working at a drugstore delivering prescriptions on a bicycle and I was like 13 and 14 I always got me a Mounds candy bar when I could afford it. A Mounds or an Alma Joy was a 10 cent bar like a cart bar and a butterfinger and a Milky Way, they were a nickel. But I love those mounds. I didn't like the Almond Joys because it was milk chocolate. I love the dark chocolate that's on the mound. But the size, my gosh, they were a lot bigger back in the day. Yes, they was. You have a good day, ma'am. She's a Trump fan. You know what? No. Yeah, there's still a couple of big alo uh, aloes back there. I got a bunch out of there. I wish I could talk to this man here. He's got a Trump sign up. Hey, buddy. Uh, 
Alright, I think I'll go down here and have have a look, see, see if there's anything different. But I can't wait for the election to be over. I sure, you know, looking at all the polls and everything, I would say Trump is going to win it. What is that? Is that a milk crate? I don't know what that is. Uh, I would say Trump's going to win it, but I keep remembering 2016 when Trump was running against Hillary. And all the polls was saying Hillary was going to win it. Oh, uh, this is where the persimmons is at. Two dollars for how many? He's got a persimmon tree back there somewhere. You know, yeah, they were saying Hillary was going to win it. And I remember them get after that election, I remember them getting up there. We was wrong. All the polls were wrong, and they just couldn't believe it. But, you know, that, so that makes me wonder, maybe the polls is wrong this time. I don't know. What is all that over there? I don't know. What is that? That is, these things are covers that goes over a drain field when you dig a drain field. And they must have had a septic tank problem or drain field problem. What is those? I don't know. But yes, they, the pose was wrong. The pose might could be wrong now. That's why I keep asking people every time I see one that talk to me, Trump or Harris, and I, about 95% of them is saying Trump. It's saying Trump. Now, I wonder if there's anything in them boxes. Empty box. Empty box. One time when I was still trash picking. Hey, guys. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? I try to be friendly to dogs, they can bark. That's a neat little house right there. Oh, he's got a big crepe myrtle right there, and he's cut it way back. And that will be growing. That'll be growing new stems on it. And by the way, crepe myrtle wood, 
I used to love to make stuff out of crepe myrtle wood. Because you can see, you can see by the grain in that wood right there, that's gorgeous wood. And there's a burrow on that one. Crape Merle makes it's beautiful wood and I love to work with it. I wish I could still do my woodworking. I wonder very cautious going down this road. I don't know if them homeless people still live back there in the woods or not. But usually this is about as far as I want to go. Yep. Usually this is as far as I want to go. I see a blank and... Is that a FedEx truck? The kid from that garage apartment back there behind us, he come and ask me a while ago, because usually when they, they get delivered from UPS or FedEx, they put them at our house. They put them at our house, because our address is on the 846 zone out. But we had, but that's, uh, yeah, that's a FedEx truck. That's a FedEx truck. You know, there's a Bud Light bottle. I'll pick that up. I'm gonna go back here. I always like to come look at this tree. I love beautiful big old oak trees. I like to go in these oak hammocks that's around Florida, a lot of them. I mean, look, look, look how beautiful those trees are. Look how beautiful they are. And the moss, see all the moss? Golly, that's beautiful. Can you see up there? That is beautiful trees. And this one over here, I really, I really love that tree. Can y'all see that? That's an old tree. Got a lot of moss. Now this one over here, can you see that one? That's got a lot of moss on it. Anyhow, well I come back here and I had a look. Look at that. 
beautiful. Beautiful old trees. And I'm going to go through the moss again. And that's a beautiful old magnolia tree, too. But look up there. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Well, there's another can. Another can. You know, it's looking cloudy. I always check the Florida weather radar for this area. And there's storms all around us, but right in here in Ocala, Marion County, it's clear. But when you got all that stuff swirling around in other counties and stuff close by, it can turn on you on a dime. Yes, it could. So I'm just out enjoying the day. Now, a week from today is the 19th. And that that is the day I can appeal this demonetization I hope I've got it all straightened out cause if I get remonetized I might have enough time this month to get enough in there with that 80 something dollars to uh get me a check and if I got a check or a pay it's not actually a check it's just a it's automatically deposited in my bank account but I need a new printer I need another printer You know, they used to sell, they used to sell plants in here. But you don't sell plants anymore. But I see they still got those pots. Four for a dollar. I don't need no pots. Don't need no pots.
I wish I could find me a, a, a new hitch for my trailer that goes in the back of this thing. I don't know what happened to that hitch. It's, it's like a regular ball thing for a trailer, but it's a small version of the, my, the big ones. And I smell, do I smell food? I smell food cooking, there's a subway in there. Oh, the restaurant where I like to get my liver dinner. <laughs> ah, sure ain't got that much. <laughs> That's six ninety nine. I like to have a liver dinner. Like to have a liver dinner. I'm gonna get those butter peas. They're called butter peas. I don't know what that means. But I'm gonna get me a, a pot starter to that. I'm not gonna put any fat seasoned meat in there, but I, I am gonna season the pot with, uh, with bacon grease. Yes, I am. I think they'd be good. I think they'd be good. Timmy Chews. I wonder how they're doing. This used to be Oak Crest Hardware. Back when my pool chlorinator stopped working at, on my pool at home, I used to come over here and get two gallon containers of liquid chlorine. They had the best prices in town. Well, I think I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to do a search to see if I can find a place to get them small hitches for my trailer. I sure like to pull my trailer with me. Sure. Now, you remember a while ago when I was looking at the uh, other side of this car lot through that gate counting them cars back in the yard so this is the other side of that yard right here and there's no way i can see in it from here but he must be well maybe i can get no i can't get a peek there but when he built this fence he must have found a bunch of old used garage doors because that's what he's using to cover up or make this fence. I'm surprised the city let him get away with it. But it's just about to fall down. Just about. I wonder really how many cars he got back in there. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I said I was going to get out here and clean this mess up. But I don't know what day the garbage trucks run, but they need to get all this. Man, this is terrible. All right, folks. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. 
That's it for this video. Um, I wish I grass would mow. So, see you in the next one. See ya.